Hey everyone, Wax Weirdo here, and I have another haul for you from Gypsy Monroe. I have two orders, the most recent orders, and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the one I got today. Okay, this is Pumpkin Spice and Chill, and I remember this is Pumpkin Spice and Creme Brulee. Got some cute little Halloween um, shapes in here. I love these little skulls. A brain. And it mostly just smells like pumpkin spice and it's like not bakery as far as like a bready note or a pie crust note or you know some sort of carby note. It is just legit like the pumpkin spice action. I do get a hint of creaminess from the creme brulee, but I'm sure that'll also come out um, a little bit more. It has a few more days to kind of cure, but it's really nice. Next, I got a bag and this is just like a blender of maraschino cherry. Oh, look at that USA, how cute. I've never had one of those before. Oh, there's a bunny butt. What is that? Oh, it's a spacecraft, a UFO. So just cute little shapes. Oh, I'm obsessed with cherry. It smells good. Just a beautiful, bright, tart, tangy, sweet, delicious cherry. Okay, then some blackberry. Again, more little shapes, star. Uh, like whipped cream top there, a tulip, if you will. Oh, and it's like a candy blackberry, which I love. Sometimes blackberry is weird and you get like floral in it, which I mean, okay, if it's blended right, sure. But I'm more of a fruity bakery gal anyway, so candy blackberry we get along moving on another little blender here in tahitian vanilla lots of little hearts oh true love my husband's my true love oh that's not what i was expecting i guess i don't know a whole lot about tahitian vanilla it is kind of a floral, kind of laundry vanilla. Mm -hmm. There's like a cleanness, a sweetness, a floralness. That's interesting. I thought maybe it was going to be a very sweet, tropical, delicious type of vanilla. I'm not saying this isn't delicious. It's just not my jam. I didn't know. Now I know. Oh, I got a room spray in Cherry Clean. Oh, I like that she put it in a poly bag. Let me open it up and look how cute. Cherry Clean. Dang, it smells good in here. Room spray. Awesome. Shake well. Avoid skin contact. Spray may leave hard wood floors slippery. Good to know. Um, this is going to be... Oh, it's nice. Cherry and laundry, basically. That's beautiful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It is sort of reminiscent if you are, oh, oh, there, run away, run away. I'll just let him go. If you're experienced with Rocket Cherry Cookies on Laundry Day, there is a similarity. This, I do feel like this, feel like this pulls more cherry. Boy, if I could talk. Um, I do think I like this a little bit better. The laundry is a little bit, um, pulls more into the clean rather than the perfume of rockets. Okay, moving on. Come here. Um, this is another little bag. This is Sweet on Paris. It doesn't have the details on here, but it's like blackberry, lemon, and like vanilla. Cute little shapes, though. Oh, there's an Eiffel Tower. Do you see it? Oh my gosh. Let me get 
get it. I won't, maybe I'm, no, I'm not gonna be able to get it. Oh, this is beautiful. It smells just like the Bath and Body Works candle. Mmm, it's so beautiful. It's a sweet, tangy lemon, sweet, tangy blackberry. So gorgeous. There is maybe just a hint of a feminine note, if you will. Almost perfume, but like sweet perfume. Okay, next I have a bakery bag here of milk and cookies. This is sugar cookie dough and bleh, fluffy marshmallow frosting and sweet creamy milk. What is this, brittle? Yeah, what is that, velvet? Name the movie. Yeah. What's interesting about this is it smells just like vanilla in the package, but when it's melting, it's different. I had to get me more of this because I do enjoy it. It will get stronger, I feel, in maybe another month, month and a half, just with these vanilla-based um, fragrances. I always like to let them sit and uh, ferment, fester, cure in all their glory, and they will reveal themselves to me later. Okay. Next, I have another bakery bag, and this is in Tanta Kringle, which is peppermint stick, sugar cookie, candy cane buttercream, and vanilla extract. Oh, I'm excited. I've not ever smelled this, but I love mint. Oh my gosh. Oh, I can smell the candy cane. Just a plain little piece of brittle. Oh, it just legit smells like a heavenly candy cane. I'm not getting much um, vanilla or sugar, and that's because peppermint is so strong. And again, um, this has cured for a month, but maybe needs another month to bring out those vanilla notes, to bring it a little more creamy. But I would melt this like now because I don't mind because I love peppermint. Oh, mm. Okay, next, oh, this label is darling. This is bed and breakfast, which is pe pecan pumpkin waffles and toasted marshmallow. Mm-hmm. I am getting mostly pumpkin pecan marshmallow. Let me show you this front little piece of brittle. It's so cute. It has a waffle cone on there, a little spritz of like syrup looking mess. I am getting mostly pumpkin pecan waffles. I do get a hint of the toastedness from the toasted marshmallow. Keep on cruising. Okay, we have Fraggle Rock. Oh, I love Fraggle Rock. So cute. I think I'm Wimbly, by the way, because he's kind of weird and I'm weird. Okay, and Fraggle Rock is crunch berries, zucchini bread, and funnel cake. Oh, I get crunch berries the most. Mm-hmm. And just, just ever so much a little bit of zucchini. Look how cute. Oh my gosh, these are all different colors. Which I'm really happy about because zucchini is so powerful. So is um, cereal blends too. So our cereal blends, but. Oh, she did good. You get bam, crunch berries, and then zucchini comes sliding in after. Oh, that is going to be wonderful. I cannot wait till my cereal month. Love it. That's probably my favorite so far. Okay, then I got all oh, this label. You're so cute. Okay, this is maraschino cherries, cream soda, and cake batter fudge. Mm-hmm. I'm mostly just getting that cherry because, boy, she's strong. Maybe just a hint of the cream soda there. Here's a cute piece. But I'm mostly getting 
the cherry, and I'm not mad at it. Cherry's strong. I like it. Okay, moving on, moving on. Okay, then we have a moon jelly, and this is in different packaging. I know she said she was waiting on different packaging um, for these, but yes. And this is, and why is the carpet wet Todd? And the scent notes for this, I have pulled up. Let me just get out here. Um, I'm not sure why they're not on here. Usually she always has them on here. But, and why the carpet, why is the carpet all wet Todd is black cherry, champagne, raspberry, and vanilla. Oh, it's nice. I'm definitely getting the champagne vibes, the sweetness, the kind of tart, mm, zesty. And then a little bit of the black cherry, it's a little bit deeper. And the raspberry and the vanilla I get too. It's kind of a deeper, um, the champagne makes it brighter, but the cherry and the raspberry in here aren't super tart. They're more sweet and darker, dare I say, a little feminine, floral feminine-ish. So I'm, I'm interested to see what that smells like, Melted. Okay, I have another Moon Jelly. This is in Gargamel, which is vanilla wafers, vanilla bean Noel, blueberries, and roasted marshmallow. Oh, yes. The blueberry comes out most definitely. I get a hint of the VBN and the wafers. It just kind of gives it a little creaminess and sweetness and a little bit of toastedness from those roasted marshmallows. That's really nice. And that'll be fun. Okay, nexty, I have another Moon Jelly. This is in Sweet Child O oh Mine, which is, oh, do I have that one? Yeah. This is sugared mandarin slices, sugar cookie dough, and vanilla frosting. Ooh. Super sweet. A little bit of creamy. Um, almost cereal-ish. I'm getting some like Fruit Loops vibes ish but with with uh mandarin slices very sweet not super super duper citrusy but i am getting the orange citrus a little bit of yeah like fruit loops that's really nice oh, that was kind of unexpected but i like it close up okay next y'all the last moon jelly i got which is an oh snap Gingerbread latte, sweet cream, and cinnamon sugar churros. I don't usually do a lot of coffee, but I wanted to try this out. Oh, this is not what I expected. Oh, I'm almost getting, wow. It's darker, it's deeper, it's cinnamony. I do get a hint of coffee, but not like huge coffee. It just kind of makes this gingerbread deeper, darker, more dark molasses. Almost a hint of masculine, but I don't mind it. That's super interesting. We'll have to uh, see how that goes. Okay, a few clamshells in this order and then I'll move on to the older order. Yes. Okay, I have I don't know Margot and this is Lord of Miss Rule Marshmallow Fireside and Rosa's Bakery. I don't know what uh, is in Rosa's Bakery though. We'll, we'll see. Ooh, this is lovely. I get mostly Lord of Miss Rule. Mm-hmm. A hint, a little hint more of 
masculine and that must be from the marshmallow fireside that's mostly what i'm getting i'm not sure what's in rose's bakery okay next we have bewitching which is palo santo tahitian vanilla now i know what tahitian vanilla smells like and marshmallow fluff it's good i love palo santo so much I'm almost getting, let me reset my nose somehow. This a, a spice somehow. I like it. I like it better than I thought. When I saw the Tahitian vanilla after knowing what it smells like on its own, I was a little skeptical. But I think I like it. Okay, then I got seven levels of the Candy Cane Forest. This is Candy Cane, Gather Around the Campfire, and Sugared Spruce. Oh. Oh, it's lovely. It's like a twisted peppermint. And, yep, definitely the spruce, but it's not huge in the pine balsam family. It's so good. It's very, very twisted pepperminty and like a third bit of sugared spruce. I really like that. Okay, then we have a Charlie Brown Christmas, which is fresh balsam, warm sugar cookie dough, and marshmallow frosting. Oh, yeah, this is much different. This balsam leans... This blend, I mean, leans more into the feminine to me. I'm almost getting like laundry, which doesn't make any sense because there's no laundry in this at all. I'm not getting a whole lot of balsam. So this, that one's confusing to me. I'm confused. It smells like laundry. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know what else to say. Okay, then I got some Alice's teacup, which is, what is that? Does that say? I cannot even read it. What? Moon milk? Is that what that is? Is that moon milk? Oh my gosh. Which is spearmint, peppermint, and what? Why am I having a sweet milk? My gosh. Oh, and blackberry and Earl Grey tea. Whoa, I usually can read anything. I'm having like a senior moment and I'm not even close to 55. I'm just saying that's when you get your senior discount, so. But this is nice. I do get like the tea, you know, which has maybe a hint of um, greenery, floralness-ish. I get the sweet and tart blackberry and definitely the minty mintiness i like it i don't know if i'm gonna hang on to it though just fyi okay let's get through the rest of this action this is the older this is the older um order so i have winifred sanderson which is cider lane roasted marshmallow and apple cider donut Donuts with donuts. Mm -hmm. I get lots of Mac Apple. Very, very Mac Apple ish. And then some Cider Lane. And a hint of roasted, which is really nice. That is pretty good. Thank you, one of them, Sanderson. Okay, then I also have Toil and Trouble, which is pumpkin cream cheese, ginger snaps, vanilla wafers, and salted caramel. Ooh. Oh, I definitely get the pumpkin. Oh, it's really nice. And the ginger snaps, like gingerbread deliciousness. Mm-hmm. And just a hint of caramel. Just to add a little bit of extra sugar to there. 
It's very cinnamony. You have to like cinnamon to like this, and that's because gingerbread is ginger snaps are very spiced, and so is most pumpkin blends. Are most pumpkin blends, boy. My English isn't so good tonight. Okay, then I got Bijou, which is Palo Santo, Blackberry Mint, and Marshmallow Fluff. Oh, I'm loving this. Oh, look at this little bone on my neck. Oh, they're little. They're so little. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, Palo Santo is so good. It's just such a beautiful woodsy note, but it's like light fresh woodsy not fresh as um in that realm but i don't know how it's like a crisp lighter like cedar mm, with that mint and that blackberry oh this is a dream beyond love it it is so refreshing whoa i think that is another favorite Okay, this is Wednesday Friday Adams, which is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Sweet Milk, Fluffy Marshmallows, and Funnel Cake. Super cinnamony. That's very, very cinnamony. There's a hint of bakery, but not a whole lot. There's a little ghost for your viewing pleasure. To me, bam, I'm getting Cinnamon Central, Red Hot Cinnamon. That's what I'm getting the most of. And this baby's cured, so. Yes, I love me cinnamon though, so I'm, I'm not mad at that. I'm loving it. Okay, then I got some Winnie Cooper, which is Grape Fanta, Cotton Candy, and Sweet Tarts. Ooh, giving me a toothache. Oh, yes. It's like sweet candy grape soda. You must like fizzy. You must like super tart, tangy candy, grape candy. Oh, there's almost, yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, it says sweet tarts. I was gonna say sweet tarts in it. Oh my gosh, seriously. Totally sweet tarts. I'm getting every single one of those notes and holy crap, this is so fruity and tart, tanginess. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Then this sounded quite interesting. This is a Jack and Coke float. It's whiskey, Coke, Vanilla float and cherry on top. Well, let's see what you're about. Mm. Oh yeah, I totally get the cherry was first. Mm, totally get the Coca-Cola. And maybe just another hint of mm, deepness from the Jack and Coke float or from the whiskey, oh my gosh. Okay, it's probably bedtime for me because clearly I'm struggling. I like it. I like it, it's, diff it's, it's ch a cherry Coke, maybe a tidge bit, a little bit deeper. Okay, then Strawberry Smoke Show is next, which is sandalwood, clove, jasmine, amber, vanilla, musk, and strawberries. A lot of things that I would not, not usually like, but it sounded interesting. Oh, and it smells lovely. Oh, there's another little bone. Let's not get you. There's a sweet little ghost. He's little and he's thin. It's a very cool. Okay, I get a hint of floral, a hint of smokiness, and the sprite sweetness of the strawberry. It's really nice. There's almost a bubble gum, a delicious fruity bubble gum aspect to this too. This is interesting. I like it. I didn't get 
the sandalwood as much, but I maybe because it's mixed with that strawberry, maybe that's why I'm getting kind of a little bit of the bubblegum esqueness. I like it. It's different. I've never smelled anything like this. I am super, super duper excited to melt this and see what it's all about. I think I got a loaf of it from a D stash too. So, oh, we already did Winnie Cooper. Get out of there. Lastly, I got some black velvet because my friend told me I would like it. I better try it, even though it was nothing like I would want to pick up. Smoky marshmallow, sandalwood, cedar, amber, boozy blackberries, campfire smoke, and Tennessee whiskey. It is definitely feminine. Oh my gosh, I've never seen you before. Perfume, sweetness, a hint of woodsy, definitely, yeah, that sweetness, the, oh, the amber. It is a perfume, a sweet perfume type, which I'm not usually for. So I don't know how I feel about it. It smells delightful. Like I would probably wear this as a perfume. Give it a go. Just, you know, give it a try out, a spritz at the store, if you will. But I don't know if I would want this lingering around my whole house. It just, the reason why I'm really picky about floral is that sometimes it's like team too much. It just gets into my sinuses and wreaks havoc and causes headaches and migraines so it is beautiful i do like it i just don't know if it's something that needs to be hanging around in my house filling the air okay that's everything that i got this is a longer video than i anticipated it is two orders though, I guess I have to admit. Let me know what you got from Gypsy Monroe, what you're most excited to melt. 